This is a short video about the Integrity Manager, how to use it, how to load it or run the Integrity Manager. And let me create a baseline. So first thing you want to do is create a baseline that allows you to compare changes to the baseline. So you can put, you also can compare one project to another if you have two uh, projects loaded on your server as well. But if you have one project loaded, you want to create a baseline first and then you're able to create a comparison between those two. You also can compare two baselines if you create multiple baselines. You need to connect as an admin or somebody with user integrity access or privileges. So I'm going to log in as an admin here. Now choose the tutorial Microsoft tutorial project for this demo. I have a password. Okay. And it's, I can choose as many objects as I want, but I'm just going to choose one report for a demo. Just use something that's not prompted for starts. It doesn't have prompts, so I'm going to ignore this. And the defaults, where is it saving my stuff? I can modify that and I'm going to run. I could save the configuration if I want to reuse the same configuration or this test configuration. Otherwise, I run it and now I have a baseline. So the next thing to do is just for test purposes, I'm going to go modify the report that we just created a baseline for. Just modify one of the filters has one item in the list, the category list, and add another one. Okay, so let's assume this was a mistake on, on a developer's end. And as you were running a regression test against your baseline, let's choose the baseline that we saved a minute ago. Okay, it's typically saved by default as baseline in the folder that you specified when you ran the first time. Now we're connecting to the project, which is the comparison of the baseline to the project. You have to log in because it assumes that you're connecting to a live connection. So we get the username, and password, etc. Choose the project. Confirm which report to compare to, whether it's by ID or folder type, depending on if your ID has changed. And then the defaults, etc., where to place the results. Do you, which ones do you want to test? SQL data are typical. You can have Excel PDF and graph as well. All right, so now it ran the results, or it's running the results, and it's going to do a full comparison, and give me errors or X's wherever there is a difference. So this gives me a warning that there's two differences, and it'll actually highlight the SQL difference. Notice that the, the two categories in one. And now we see the data as well that it's different. So this is awesome because if you are doing some testing, regression testing, and something changed, you weren't sure what it was, this will actually uncover the changes for you. Similarly, we've talked about like whether if it's prompted or not prompted, it's pretty much the same process. Uh, choosing a prompted report there are the defaults. If you have values, dates, etc., it'll allow you to enter them from the Integrity Manager. It'll also let you run the defaults if the report, if the prompt is required and it has default answers. It'll also allow you to enable personal answers. All of this can be answered here or in the advanced options. Again, you can specify which priority you need your prompts answered as well from the advanced, so you can tell it personal first, default second, integrity third, etc. or you can move them up and down. So there's a lot of flexibility. This way you don't have to run into a situation where you're uh, being prompted during thousands of tests or a thousand object tests. You just enable the answers, the mechanics to take place before. And here we go, now we have a comparison and it's, it's a baseline that we created. And these are the results and the SQL. And now we can use this for comparison later on if we need to. And notice that this report is being prompted, but it's pulling in all the data. So my strategy is addressing this prompt by answering all the elements. 
And this is just one of the ways that Microsoft has these different rules for Integra Manager just to, uh, to maximize the amount of coverage. It'll choose for these items all the, all the values. But there's, depending on the prompt and what type of prompt, it addresses it a little bit different. You can experiment with those. The good thing is when you're doing a comparison, it'll address the target and the source in the same way. So you don't have to worry about is my prompt being answered one way or another. And you can also view your configuration summary later on. You could also open the result sets and look at them. So you can view the results after the fact. So this is the baseline. You could have also loaded a test that you have created previously. If you have old tests or loaded or tests that you repeat over and over, you can have those saved and load those tests later on. And then you just go and find it. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. This is the basics, but you get the idea. It's very useful for developers and especially for admins. Thank you very much.